Good morning, everybody. It is 7.46, Saturday, March 31st. I wanted to share with you uh, real quickly here a dream I had last night. Um, also, I had one a few nights ago, and it kind of, like that eight-year-old boy that had that dream, saying that there would be an earthquake in a like in a few days, which we know there was one last night in, in uh, Egypt around Sinai, and it was a 3.3 earthquake. We know this. Um, but there's also been, you know, if you look back, there was a few earthquakes there over the last few days. But what was real uh, particular about the one that they had last night was the, it was a 3.3. And then the depth of it was uh, 9.011, uh, like 9.11. And uh, the boy did predict that there would be, and there was one uh, there, as he said it would be. Um, but like I said, a few days before that, there there was earthquakes were uh, trembling around then. But um, nonetheless, he did, and it was a three point three. And I've been, and I also had a dream about that same time as the boy was predicting that, um, where I was fighting in a well. There was a lot of fighting going on in uh, in a uh, like in a uh, industrial area. A lot of fighting was going on. And I was leaping up on these windows, which were breaking underneath my feet, the glass. Then I got down on the ground and I found a door. In this boy's dream, he said that it was difficult because there was a lot of demons all around us. And there was a lot of buying, like civil unrest. And when I leaped out there to try to take off, it was very slow, hard to get off, up out of here as I was like flying. And it was very hard to get away. And uh, the boy's dream even described something like that. I didn't watch the whole thing until last night. But uh, anyhow, as I got further into space, I was moving faster, almost like in light speed where everything was splashing by really fast. But as I was getting ready to leave and go into like hyperspace, I seen other spirits passing me, like heading down to the earth, almost like as if there was a battle. A battle going on um, so you know I know something's up there's no doubt about it and then last night I had a dream um, where I was in a beautiful place like paradise man it was beautiful the water was crystal clear you could see through it like you could see daylight and beautiful lovely and then we went to the shore and everybody was going to go and get something to eat. I was going to go with them. But I had I had another job, something I had to go do first. And I went in there. And it was like when I went in there to where my where my desk would be, um, it was like, have you ever seen a judge's chambers? And how they sit really high and people would stand before it. That's where I was. But my job was, it was like a lost and found. People would come in there and they would say, they would have either paperwork for something that they lost that they were looking for. And then I had all this stuff and it was like jewels, jewels, jewelry. That's what it was. It had to do with jewelry. And I was restoring things to people. And uh, if they had the proper paperwork for it, one person, you know, described something that I had and I gave it to them because they described it so well, but I was told don't, give anything out unless they have the paperwork, unless they can uh, show that they have the paperwork for it. So, um, then I, you know, the people that was I was waiting on me, they were getting ready to go eat, and I was trying to tell them, well, wait until uh, I get done, and I'll go with you guys. I said, all I got to do is make sure everybody gets what's on this desk here, and then my job is done for the day. And, uh, but they were in a hurry to go eat and, uh, I ended up waking up from that dream, but that's what my job was like handing back, uh, stuff that they had lost and, and it could have something to do with the things that people lost while they were here on the earth, you know, like God will restore all things, you know, and he's got jobs for a lot of us to do, 
I had a dream where I was told I had different work to do. And uh, who knows? But that little boy's dream, he said that uh, if this happened, he described the layers, like getting off of here, how the evil that's all around us right now makes it difficult for us to leave. And some of you remember that other dream that I had where Hillary was cooking something in these big industrial pots and it was like melting the ceilings and everything. Um, then she handed me a silver blade and said, France wanted me to kill myself, you know? And I said, that's not gonna happen. But uh, yeah, you know, these dreams, you guys, I mean, I, I believe we're getting close, you guys. And that little, that little boy is right, you know? I mean, we're like, you know, any moment, you guys, any moment. We need to be ready to go, okay? God bless you guys. I love you all. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ.